based on regulation 103 sub regulation 4 so continue yes honorable ayen and then after that honorable grace abalang right honorable speaker thank you very much i'm mary ayen majok from the council of states chairperson for gender peace and reconciliation committee uh, allow me first of all mr honorable speaker sir uh, to appreciate the two reports that were presented today and also uh, if i'm allowed i want to congratulate uh, our colleague honorable god mcquite for his appointment because maybe you did that separately but because we were in the council of states right honorable speaker as we are discussing the generalities of our national budget i want to make four only four points uh, on the national as observations and recommendations. Uh, one will be on the allocations to the states and oil producing communities. Uh, number two, I want also to make an observation on uh, our investment uh, on management of our natural resources. And the third one on our oversight roles as legislature. And the last comment uh, and the last one will be on okay let, let me come on number one right honorable speaker on allocation of uh, resources and budget to the oil uh, and the states producing I observed that the report of the minister of finance was silent about it it has not he, he has not mentioned anything about it. And I think this is really very serious uh, because we know the situation in those areas of South Sudan. Uh, there are a lot of reports that are speaking about the situations of the people and the environment in these areas. The recent report was published in this April and it was it, it is stated that 600 people are at the risk uh, of, of, of oil contamination. And if you look 600, this is just an approximate figure, but 600,000 is, is a serious figure. Uh, I want the Minister of Finance also maybe to tell us why the, uh, the report was silent about allocation to the oil uh, producing states and communities. Uh, number two, on tr transfer to the states, I observed that in the 2018, in 2017 and 2018 budget, uh, the states were under budgeted and they were also underpaid. That the, the little amount that was allocated to them was not even paid all to them. This is also very serious, right, Honorable Speaker, because if we want to see the development and the implementation of what we are approving here, it will be only reflected at the state's level and the local, uh, and the local government uh, level. Uh, if we are to be sincere, we will see that most of the budget, maybe 70%, is just consumed at the national budget. So I want to urge the House, this time let us observe or let us monitor that all the budget to be released and to be sent to the states accordingly. Uh, on number three, on, uh, on, on, account, on, on accountability, right, Honorable Speaker, we used to speak about our oversight role. We used to recommend that all the spending agencies are supposed to report to this House on how they manage and they spend their money. But I believe, maybe I'm in, from the Council of State, uh, the spending agencies are not reporting to us, but I confirm for my colleagues uh, from the National Legislative Assembly, I know that the only uh, quarter report we receive is, is the one that comes together with the, with, 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 with the national budget, which means that the quarterly reports are not there. I'm not urging the House only to request for the quarterly report, but let us also evaluate the expenditure of the budget. 
And by evaluations, I mean that we need to see the impact of what we are proving. Are we just approving figures and those figures are consumed, but we want to see that those figures are making, are, are making results in the life of our people. Uh, I know that as parliamentarians, we are not experts in evaluating, in evaluation, but we can use the, we, we, we can benefit from, uh, we, we have human resources like in our universities and academia. They can help the parliament. We have also the partners, the, devo the developmental partners who can help us also as, uh, as parliamentarians to evaluate. So right, Honorable Speaker, I'm asking that let's include this time that we need to evaluate the, 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 the performance. And also, I, I, will, I will recall also that this year we, we have the National Development Plan uh, for 2018-2021. It will be good also, the Parliament not just to approve it, but later on let us monitor how was it uh, uh, perfectly implemented. Uh, the last one, right, Honorable Speaker? You have half a minute. Okay. I have a general observation on the report itself. Yes, this report was prepared by the legislature. And if we look to the list attached to it, we will find that it is mentioned that it is the Committee of Finance, Economic Planning, the Transitional National Legislative Assembly. And if we look into the names, we will find that members of the Council of States are there. So I needed to be corrected by the chairperson. Yes, point of order. Yes. نعم المشاهدون الكرام كانت تلك مداولة السيدة أيان مجوك حيث أشادت بالتقرير الذي تم تقديمه من قبل اللجنة وتحدثت حول الموارد ولا سيما البترولية التي يتم إنتاجها في الولايات وقالت أن أمر الولايات لم تتحدث عنها الميزانية العامة وخاصة وأن الأوضاع هناك في هذه الولايات لا سيما البيئية سيئة وأن هنالك 600 شخص على الأقل محدد بأخطار وأضافت أن على الرقم الأصلي قد يفوق هذا العدد وقالت إن 70% من الميزانية القومية يتم استهلاكها محليا فالأفضل كان أن يتم تحويلها إلى الولايات ودعت إلى أهمية تنفيذ هذه الميزانية كما تحدثت حول المحاسبية لا سيما المنظمات والعمل من أجل تقييم المخرجات الخاصة بالميزانية والاستفادة من خيرات الجامعات في هذا الحديث الآن أعود بكم إلى المنصة I, I think you need to withdraw the kujur before I could... Uh... <laughs> Who is the kujur here? <laughs> because I know the professors, but if there's a kujur, I want to know. <laughs> I, I was sorry you are the one. Yeah. <laughs> you are I, the kujur. I'm also a, a member as well as kujur. Thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. I think what I want to make... I think she was meaning to say, in areas where we don't have expertise, we can bring from the university. I think that was the point. I thank you. I think exactly, you are, thank you for clarifying that. Uh, the, the last one was uh, on investment of our natural resources. Right, Honorable Speaker, is very important. Uh, for the previous, all the previous years, we will focus on budgeting or putting all most of our resources on the security. This is understood, but this time it's good enough that peace is at home now. Let's uh, now focus on investment on our natural resources. For example, in South Sudan we have the wetland. It's the second most important wetland all over the globe. Uh, the num number one is in South America. So it is very good that we are, and if we are speaking in terms of money, they are saying that the potential direct value of, our, of this natural resource is $807 million oh. per year. Okay. So if we consider it, I believe it can yeah. assist also the oil revenue uh, uh, resource. أيان مجوك قد تحدثت حول أهمية الاستثمار في الموارد الطبيعية ودعت إلى ضرورة التركيز عليها خاصة وأن معظم الأراضي في جنوب السودان صالحة للزراعة عودة إلى المنصة